Alright people, welcome back. More card reviews. Today we are looking at another Galaxy Eyes monster. So many, so many Galaxy Eyes monsters. But with Kite being back in the anime, you know, no surprise there, but instead of Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, now it's Cypher Dragons, and uh, we'll be soon we get Galaxy Cypher Dragon and all the various forms and upgrades of that. So today we're looking at Galaxy Eyes Cypher Blade Dragon. The interesting thing is, I don't know where this card is in the anime. Uh, in the spoiler alert, in the latest episode, uh, Kite was dueling Dennis and he summoned Neo Galaxy Eyes uh, Cypher Dragon, which was 4,500. But this right here, this Cypher Blade, is only 32. Oh, only 32. I mean, come on. 3,200. That's only a tad way over tad better. But uh, I don't know where this card fits in. Like, uh, I, th I thought before I saw the end, I was like, all right, well, he's going to go ahead and go into Galaxy Eyes Cypher Blade Dragon. It's like, no, this is Neo Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon. It's like, um,. So, where does Blade fit in? I'm kind of confused. So, anyway, we actually got the real card of this and only the anime of Neo Galaxy Eyes, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, look at this card. So, Galaxy Eyes Cypher Blade Dragon is a Light Dragon XC effect monster, rank 9, uh, 3200 attack, 2800 defense, so stats are great, made with 3 level 9 monsters, but you're not going to do that. No one's going to do 3 level 9 monsters. Uh, like usual when it comes to these Galaxy Eyes uh, XC monsters. You can also XC summon this card by using rank 8 Galaxy Eyes XC monster you control as XC materials, attached to XC materials as this card, blah 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 blah. Alright? So, just slap it on type of Galaxy Eyes. It doesn't even have to be Cypher Dragon. Like, it can be, you know, Photon Dragon, it can be, it can be Armor, it could be Dark Matter. Well, I don't think, I, th I don't think you can overlay on top of Dark Matter. I don't think, but, you know, monsters like that, so. That's interesting, that's interesting. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, read the actual effect. So, it cannot be used at, as an XC material for an XC summon. So, uh, once this is on top, that's it. No slapping something else on top. So, alright. Uh, once return, you can detach XC material from this card, target card in the field, destroy it. Really simple detach effect. Not terrible, just really simple. Just detach, pop a card on the field. Alright. Uh, of course, it does target, so boo, but you're over. Dark Destroyer, so yay, but, mm. uh, and, uh, of course, Dark Destroyer can pop you, but what happens if this card is destroyed? This card is destroyed by your opponent's attack. It's 32 fucking hundred, like, what the hell is killing you by battle? Like, mm. Or by card effect, and sent to the graveyard, so Dark Destroyer, Regeki, you know, all that good stuff, uh, not removed from the subject graveyard, you gotta be destroyed, so if you get Monarch Storm forth, no effect, but, you know, if you're destroyed, you get that Regeki, or that Dark Destroyer, or whatever, then, alright. You can target one Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon in your graveyard. Special summon it. Okay, so uh, that's actually interesting that it doesn't have to use Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon, but it would prefer to use Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon. But the whole like summoning Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon from your graveyard, like it's been interesting. Like you summon it from the graveyard and then you attach this card, this is material. So you have to have an XC material to attach with Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon, because without detaching XC material. Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon is just a 3,000 beater. I mean, I guess it's better than nothing, but still, you know, that's necessarily all you get. So, uh, one of the interesting plays that you can actually do is just slap this on top of full armor. So, you can go into like a, you know, like for example, Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon, and you can go ahead and uh, use its effect. And especially if your opponent has a Xe monster, use the fag, detach, take it, it becomes Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon, slap on full armor, full armor, uh, I believe you detach Xe material full armor to pop a face-up card, I want to say, it's the top of my mind. It's been a while since I really read full armor, but I know it pops a card, I know it pops a card, whether it's a mo card or monster, face-up, face-down, or it doesn't matter, I can't remember for full armor, but pretty much, summon Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon, use the fag, detach Xe material, take your opponent's Xe monster, it becomes Galaxy Eyes, slap on uh, uh, Full Armor, right? Because I think Full Armor just needs the Galaxy Eyes monster. This on the other hand, uh, the Galaxy Cypher Blade, it has to be a rank 8, so it's not as uh, free with that. So detach, uh, put, slap on Full Armor, Full Armor, detach, pop a card. And then, literally, take this card, slap it on top of Full Armor, detach, pop a card. So that's pretty, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. Uh, uh, like I said, it, it seems like you would have synergy with Galaxy Eyes, but then it really doesn't. Like, it's a good thing that we have, like, full armor to go into that in-between. Because, think about it, uh, when you take with the with the Cypher Dragon, with the regular Cypher Dragon, you it get, the monster's effects negated, it becomes 3,000 attacks, its name becomes Galaxy Eyes, but it doesn't become rank 8. So, 
because it doesn't come rank 8, you can't just slap this on top of that temporary galaxy eyes that you took. But because of full armor being that kind of in-between connecting point between uh, what you're taking, your, the key monster you're taking, and this, uh, it makes that play possible. So that's just an additional play that you can do with the shenanigans. Okay, we already did the card review for Galaxy uh, Cypher Dragon. I actually did it twice. So they all had to have like, an additional play to just be like, haha, you have a sea monster. Oh, give me that Dark Rebellion. All right, now here's a full armor detached pop. Here's a freaking Galaxy uh, Eye Cypher Blade Dragon detached pop. So, you know, that's pretty good. Uh, of course, the limiting factor and uh, why you can't really uh, end the duel is that. Um, if you do do that play with uh, the regular Galaxy uh, Cypher Dragon, other monsters you control cannot attack directly for the rest of the turn. So, rip. <laughs> only uh, only the regular Cypher Dragon's getting the attack in. Wow, you would love to go ahead and smash your opponent for possibly th up to 32. Which is weird, because you're going to slap on full armor, which is, I believe, stronger. I believe it's 4,000. And then go down and attack the only 32 by slapping this on top. But hey, you get an extra pop, and it's a pop of any card on the field. So, like I said, it's not terrible. It's just a kind of boring effect. So, overall, not a terrible card. So, just kind of waiting for that Neo Galaxy Eyes. Kind of want to review him. His anime effect seemed kind of busted, but of course, they're probably going to change that. So, uh, yeah. Or maybe, maybe it'll be similar. Maybe similar to the real card, because with the regular Galaxy Eyes, you touch a team material... Uh, take your opponent's monster, it becomes 3,000 attack, galaxy eyes, whatever, uh, but it can't attack, you know? Can't attack for the turn. Well, in the anime, the Neo Galaxy Eyes detached all of your tools. I believe you took all your opponent's monsters and they all became Neo Galaxy Eyes for 4,500 attack, but they couldn't attack. They even said, Dennis even said in the anime, oh, you can't attack with those monsters, you know? So maybe they'll just go ahead and keep it similar to that, you know? Just take your take your opponent's monsters, they become uh, Neo Galaxy Eyes, 4500, but they can't attack, and the only one that's going to be attacking is the Neo Galaxy Eyes uh, on the field. Other monsters you control cannot attack directly for the rest of the turn. So, maybe. I don't know. Similar. Similar. Anyway, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done talking about uh, Galaxy Eyes. I'm not the Galaxy Eyes person. I uh, probably missed something, and if I did, Tiago will crucify me. So, uh, yeah. Fine card review despite that. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed uh, this card review. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. I will be back on Wednesday with another card to look at. All right, people. Thanks for watching.